Hello and welcome to God's Word for today. My name is Brenda Gross. It's good to be with you. Good to be in the house of the Lord today. And it's truly a privilege to come to you by the way of TV, by the way of radio, and let you know that Jesus loves you. You know, if you don't know that anybody loves you in this world, I'm telling you right now that Jesus loves you. He gave his life for you. And you know what? He'll welcome you into his kingdom if you don't know him. You can get to know him personally today. Get to know him in a free pardon of sin. Hallelujah. You know what? <clears throat> Jesus loved everyone. He loved them to the end. And you know what? <clears throat> the Bible says that the love of God is shed abroad in our hearts by the Holy Ghost. Hallelujah. If you don't know Jesus today, you can get to know him. Ask Jesus Christ to come into your heart. Say, Lord, I believe. I believe on you. I believe on you. I believe that you died for my sins. You paid the price that I was to pay. You paid the debt that I owed. I should have been hung on that cross, but you were hung on that cross for me. You suffered. I believe you. And you know what? When you believe in Jesus, the Bible says that those who believe in him shall be saved. Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ and you shall be saved. Praise God. It's a privilege to know the Lord. And if you don't know him today, today would be a perfect day to get to know the Lord. Ask him into your heart. Ask him to forgive you of all your sins because you know what? He died to do that. He paid. I hope you know him today in that free pardon of sin. Praise God. Hallelujah. <clears throat> you know, the Bible says that we are saved by grace through faith. By grace through faith, not of works, lest any should boast. You can't do enough that the Lord would save you. You can't work enough good works for him to save you. But it's by his grace, by God's grace, he loved the world so much that he's seen his only begotten son that whosoever believes in him should not perish but have everlasting life. And it's up to you. You know, he's not going to make you serve him. The Lord's not going to make you get saved. He's not going to make you accept him. He will love you all the way to the gates of hell. You know, if that's your choice, if you want to go there, that's strictly up to you. He's offered the way. You can accept it or you can reject it. And by rejecting Jesus, you automatically accept the devil and accept to go to that awful, awful place called hell. So don't turn him away today if he's knocking at your heart. Let him in. Accept him as your Savior. You know what? That's the most important decision that you will ever make in your life is accepting the Lord Jesus Christ and what he did on the cross, believing in him, accept, accepting him as your Savior and your Lord and the Lord of your life. Praise God. And again, you can't work enough. You can't be good enough because you know what? It's by his grace, like we were saying. You can't give enough money. You can't do enough works. The Bible says, 1 Corinthians chapter 13, If I give all that I have to feed the poor, give my body to be burned, and have not love. It's talking about the love of God. It profits me nothing. Though I speak with the tongues of men and of angels and have not loved. How important is the love of God in our lives? And the love of God is Jesus. Jesus. We need Jesus today. And you know what? 
if you'll accept him, you've got him. And then you can't ever say, I'm alone. I'm so lonely. Because Jesus said he will never leave us and never forsake us. So when you've got Jesus, you are never alone. A lot of, I've heard a lot, even sung a song before, before I knew the truth. He's an on-time God. He may not come when you want him to. That's not true. Yeah, Job said that, but Job wasn't born again. Job didn't have Jesus Christ living in him. you got to understand Scripture in the context. You just can't take it out and make it say anything that you want, and want it to say because that's not true anymore. That was true in Job's day where Job said that's how he felt. may not come when you want him to. 